because my Verizon downloaded an update to the router where it's like uh, we uh we combine 5G and 2.4G and the router itself does the distinguishing of which one's better and then you know it makes mm. it more harmonious and better and I'm like okay <laughs> I'll do it not messed everything up for a bit though wait what is that what messed it up or was it an update? Oh yeah, no, that's what messed it up. It, it's okay. like impacted devices, my iPad, and then it's like host something one and host something four. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> what? But uh, it turns out the PS4 is one of them. I thought I had a, uh, an Ethernet. You know what? Actually, I'm going to write that down. Because uh, I'm going to get another long Ethernet cable for my PS4. I have one for the Switch, but... Mm. Might as well. Then I guess you could just swap them. I could, but that's annoying. <laughs> we live in the modern era. Right, I'll go kick my shit off. Right. Okay, I'm gonna... 50 foot Ethernet cable. Wait, I, th I think this is the exact one Luke got. <laughs> yeah, it started a guiding lands thing. Ah, uh, so <laughs> coming now, it's getting fed and shit. I feel like something has changed the improved the performance of this game, at least on PS4 Pro, because everything looks weirdly smooth. Like, smoother than usual. Well, but since the last stream? Because... Yeah. There wasn't an update or anything. No, there wasn't, and I don't know if I'm just going batshit or just didn't notice last stream because I was blinded by rage at the horse. Uh, Alright, I have to hit this. Are you throwing up your SOS for for this? Uh, no, I shouldn't need you just, to do that. Yeah, can you just join? Why will it not let me just join? Probably because I'm not in it yet, maybe. Oh, are you still on the loading screen? Yeah. I'll be it then. Well, let me know when you've gone through. Alright, I'm in. So, Anjanath is in here. It's weak to water, so we might as well do that. Sounds good. Coming back. What did I do? Oh. It's the part, and I'll just change my weapons at the hut while I'm there. Like, did they nerf free meal or something? It feels like it doesn't proc as much. They might have. Nerfed a bunch of things. Might have been introduced with, like, the master rank changes. Like, you know, flash pods are now basically useless. Like, was it always 25%? I feel like it was. That's in the wild spire waste. Get out of here. Oh, well, stone. Oh, it's walking. What, are you aggro on me? Come on, keep walking. Yeah, this no! Number sitting at that final tick, just taunting me. Why would you make your loading bar honest when you can just give people hope? Okay. Stick my water swords on, I'll be along shortly. I didn't even do anything to it and it aggroed on me. Which one was this? Anjanath. 
Oh, it's because he's a screechy, you know, it's a screechy git in general. You, know. you existed, and that's enough. Inside his head, you know. Hi. Oh, it's mucus. Okay. It looks more <laughs> like shit, if you ask me. What's the difference, really? It's just what end it comes out of. You know, bio major. Oh, he's falling asleep. I'm looking for... There's materials around him. Some fucking rocks? No? I mean, rocks here would boost the desert, wouldn't it? I have no idea. Did I not put bombs in again? Hold on. I didn't. Okay. Oh well. Well, the analysis progress is for a bird wyvern right now, so that might be the git we're chasing. I mean, mine says brute wyvern, but... Oh, that's very weird. I just don't know anyone. Don't make him run from the That was kind of weird how it didn't, you know, respond with the circle again. He resists your siren call. Oh, oh that's the good shit. Oh, he nudged me gently with my his shoulder. Did he look good at fire with the sun the power of me? Just roll. Lol. I know. <laughs> Where's your shoulder barge me? He's on your tail. Fucking asshole dinosaur. It's free damage. Oh, 
want to do keep going. <laughs> I wonder if we can lure it into the forest. I mean, I could shoot him with dung paws if I can make him here. So, or do I have him already? Forget. And see, that makes him run away into the forest. Didn't even look ah, at him. His feet. Hello, Hammer. <coughs> Pardon me. Hi. Jesus. I'm being destroyed by dinosaurs. Or the Herbert War ones. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just adore how the herbivores sit there staring at the big monster that most definitely eats their kind and then decides to snap at you for existing. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty off. I guess that's why they're prey creatures. They're just. <laughs> not that smart. Too stupid to live. That was close. Oops, that, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't remember that one. I didn't expect to stagger that much, actually. Killed another pink rat today. Yay. The lance because they needed to kill. Oh, they didn't occur to me, Lance. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's another new one, I think. No, that's not new. Is it not? I don't think I've seen it. I've just never been able to see it before. Okay. No, Hammer four times is never enough to kill any individual monster for armor. <laughs> you, you need ten at least, and six of them will be Forge Jam. Sure enough, it was the jam. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if we kill or capture him, does it? Uh, no. I wanted the parts, not the scatter nuts. Ugh, come on. Did I not pick it up? Seriously, going into shit. the forest. <laughs> I, don't, I think as long as it's like a forest spawn creature, it's fine wherever you kill it. Yeah, but we get more do. points for killing it in the forest, or even just oh, damaging it. So we're okay. probably gonna have to kill four things now instead of, uh, or three more things now instead of the two. Oh well. Work you shortly, carve the tail. Always be prepared for our streams, and I'm like, 
come like shadows in the night. I don't see skulls yet. I mean, it's be walking weird. It's come over in time to see you destroying it physically. Rip. Fight of every single one of these things. His heartbeat is low, so he's almost there. A few other dragon bones and the scatter of them will be fully upgraded until Iceborne. And then you'll need so many more. Enough. We should probably like look in the heart of the ruin or nerd gigante to spawn at some point and fight it, quote unquote, for real. I don't need more bombs, so I'll just have out his face. Such a big get that his basic motion is just moving out of my attack range. You hit in the tail there. Use your clownly flowers and deflect his attacks with your sixth sense of humor. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sprint faster than the dragon. Come on. God bless. Alright. Might as well go back and collect its footprints. Well, none for me, rip. Maybe I already picked him up. Maybe. Alright. And then we go back to the camp. I would laugh my ass off hitting them here, made the Diablos to spawn automatically. Where is she gone? Hello, my dear battler. Wow, that was nothing. <laughs> Expeditions, man. Ugh, yeah. We'll probably do this bad and then call it because Jesus Christ, getting out to level 6? Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're probably better served when we're gathering shit rather than fighting the monsters. Well, don't quote me on that. Alright, luring out Tober. He's also weak to water. Yeah, you don't even have to change. Oh, a Fulgur engine has spawned. Why not just use an inventory preset? Because Habit is a far more powerful creature than you can command. I also just like the meticulous nature of filling it all in myself. 
Like this wasn't oh here before. <laughs> I was the strong was the monkey compared to the horse. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Like, it had a lot of health and it hit fairly hard. But, you know, the monkey would need like four, five hits to kill me. Maybe three if he's in his part up mode. Whereas the horse could just kill me from one at full at all times. I did not have to wear a specialist armor. Quote unquote, fight right. It's not where I want that to go. Also true, we didn't fight the monkey with the weakness, but we fought, fought the. fought Kieran with the weakness. The monkey defeat the horse. Cutscene. <laughs> so, right now, if it is immune to electricity, isn't it? I'm a very young. In which case, it literally doesn't matter because the monkey. It. I don't think it could actually hurt the monkey then. It could run into it a bit, and that's about it. Uh, deeper preference for part? Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, sick. <laughs> the monkey is the natural enemy of all horses. <laughs> this is what we have come to determine. Around enough in the background to be advised. Yeah. That was almost disastrous. That is disastrous. Get. 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 Alright, see you. Did not look like you'd go through that floor with one of any. But also in real life. I suppose in a sense the monkey is the natural enemy of the horse in real life, because us, we exist. And look what we've done to them. The bird wyvern I unlocked there was the puke of all things. Yeah, it 
was. Oh well. I was falling asleep. Let's just pull up your fucking your front legs and your face. Why not? It is uncanny how much of this thing looks like a snake. I know that's the point, but it's like it's weird seeing it with legs, spice. I think you're thinking of the great heroes. Well, <laughs> this one's pretty snake. His mouth especially is very snake. The Gyros is very explicitly a snake. A buff snake. Master rank monsters, we are like tear some serious chunks out of these things in terms of damage numbers. I mean, these are like baby ones. I guess. But... Somehow that was a slope. This looks like a pretty slopey area. Yeah, but I don't just like slide horizontally up a bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Why does thing sound like Mr. Logs from Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> I haven't thought about it in some time. Reminder that I that dude can literally ate himself to death. <laughs> Not the most unusual death in that game, I don't think. You asshole. It timed out for the exact moment I aimed at sharpening my thing. It was it was patient enough to let me sharpen, but not enough to knock it to hit him. I'm gonna have to start shooting this and get over here in a second. Oh, look. No. No. Go away. I'm surprised I'm allowed to say crafting with the messages. I kind of forgot that crap existed for a while there until I heard it recently. I was like, oh shit, that's a word I haven't heard in a while. Crap? Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. It's just all shit and fuck nine. Like, no one really uses crap anymore. Oh, it's got spells? Yep. Oh, good. <laughs> Cut. 
Alright, so then we go it's... back to the camp. There's some material here if you didn't pick it up. Uh huh. Where? Like okay. over there in this in this corner over here. I think I got it. Alright, or is it? Off we go. Now we find a new web novel with an interesting premise. It's called the, the This Hero is Invincible but Too Cautious. Also has an yeah. anime adaption. I, I, I put that on the list. Oh, okay. I think you rated it too. <laughs> Let's see. So the other part of MC gets someone to a different world, he's extremely mm -hmm. cautious and basically Oh yeah, actually I do think I remember this one, seeing the trailer for it. It's the guy who like worked out until he was like the strongest in the world just to fight like three slimes or some shit, isn't it? Do you look at the difference between fighting a monster in the forest area compared to fighting in the wild spire waste? That's ridiculous. I'm not hunter rank a hundred. Also that is pretty mad. I guess we'll put Anjanath back in the <laughs> in the forest area. A new nine star optional quest has been added. The Sapphire Star's Guidance. I don't think that's the bad one. Give me a sec to reprep. Yes, that, that, that does sound familiar. It only says apparently the story is not that great, but it might play better as an anime. I think one of the things that works better like visually than it does uh, in a book, just in word form. You should be arrested for saying that. <laughs> I dare suggest that the books are not perfect. Uh, and you're not right. And I also have a listing for a brute wyvern. I have like all three. <laughs> <laughs> Flying Wyvern being like a f like four nodes plus the Paul makes me think that oh, might be it. the one for the next git. I don't know. I think that the one where this thing does fly, but I don't know if that means it's a Flying Wyvern or yeah, it could be a Brute Wyvern or could it be a Fanged Wyvern. This is uh, distinctly bigger engine F than the last one. Mainly in that I cannot naturally reach its tail. Oh, I'm knocking it over. This is probably more accurate to say the yellow one was distinctly small for an engine. Oh, I guess I got hit there. For the wild gesticulations of monsters. Say that so far the anime isn't at the point where the story gets annoying. Also, anime is pretty short compared to web novels, so maybe we won't even get to that part. Yeah, probably. Unless it explodes, in which case they're gonna rush out the whole thing and probably give it the original content. It's fucking fire season, man. Me clearing my nose in the morning. Falling asleep. Oh. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> still didn't get bombs. <laughs> Sec to eat some meat. Um, didn't bring any meat with me, did I? I did not. No, I did. I just went over like an idiot. Discovered Zenogre? Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, hi. Hang on, I'll poo him up in a second. If he's a pro- yeah, he's gonna be a problem. Alright, you. Get. Get. 
Bad dog. Bad dog. Mamely asks if you're planning on playing on streaming more Mario Maker 2 at some point. Uh, yeah, that was actually kind of what I was going to do next and actually play levels now that, you know, the making aspect has kind of died. Hmm. I don't have to worry about, like, oh, I, you know, just did their thing and now they uploaded another level. Ah, alright. <laughs> you can play the, the fool. Full levelography. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna do that next and then move on to Indivisible. I should probably make at least one level then. Three materials over here. Four on three. Currently being owned. Can't wait for him to play Mike's levels. Some of those are really good, Mamling says. <laughs> the Rat Circus. It's the only one I've seen a bit of. Oh, just... Ow. Oh. Okay, I guess it's just... Oh, yeah, I'm equip it. I'm determined if I could like, swap with which of the ammo types I had in the slinger. Seriously, I just took the dung pods out. Go. Leave. Except the engine F is also leaving and they're going the same way. Yep. Really should have thought about that. Oh. <laughs> uh... I want to get these footprints. Link. Yeah, yeah, no, it's going back up. It's going back up. Send help. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. He does smell a bit like poo still, because I accidentally clipped him. This net floor, if we can. Oh, well. he seems to disagree. Somehow, by striking his tail, I made him vomit. God, with this goddamn dog. Now, if you two want to just fight each other, get your heads out and then leave. Oh wow, I did not know you could turn like that. It's currently arguing with the Zenogre. They're being split by the tree. He's falling asleep. Right, you. Get. 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 It sounds like a dog sometimes, it sounds like a tiger other times. Okay.
I will say, like, I think isekai stories in general need to, like, really break away from, like, the standard fantasy, you know, Dragon Quest ish slash tabletop RPG settings of, like, oh, you know, medieval fantasy world, you know, you got slimes, dragons, all the rest of it, and it's, like, start getting fucking weird with it. Instead of just, like, you know, coming up with comical or parodic concepts for the I main character. Yeah. Alright, wise some... guy, what would you do? I don't know, have them go to that, go, like, a weird-ass world that isn't, like, a medieval fantasy, but it's, like, some fucking alien place where, like, everything is beat out of mushrooms and glass. <laughs> Instead, you know, there's no such thing as public, like, public transport vehicles that don't ride giant spiders or something. I realize neither said it that I kind of have to describe Morrowind, but it's that sort of shit. Just be weird about it. <laughs> right before I'm actually said it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Morrowind's a good go-to one for like a an RPG thing that just decided to get weird of it. The Brute Wyvern I analyzed turned out to be an Anginoth. Yeah, it's, this is something like that. I get fucking weird with the setting rather than like a wacky main character, you know? Two internet materials over here. I grabbed them as I ran, I think. No, I actually missed one. There's a footprint too, I missed. Did I could carve the tail? I did not. I feel like we should probably kill this one for the cars, just for the meter. I mean, does it improve the meter? Oh, it's good. Buff this fly, fly. I think each car like buffs this flying wyvern analysis thing, and I think this might be our git. Granted, I'm guessing, but I, I think. I don't have any dumb paws left, god damn it. This one of them's taking like a shit nearby. Maybe they'll just like piss each other off. I think Rathian. Dog runs into me. As always, when I think the camera zooms out for him to go like fucking Thunderlord, this shit myself a bit. I keep expecting a Thunderbolt to come down from on high. I did not suck though. I'm getting that material. Why are you chasing me? <laughs> Isekai, where the main character can't speak the language of the world he's in, and everyone is, you know, like giant rock dogs instead of actual people. You're just throwing random ideas around. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not putting real thought into this. We're playing Monster Hunter. But even that would just be like you know, a bit extra spark. Then like he's he's gone into like D and D standard player manual, and you know, he's reading out of like the Dungeon Master's monster manual. That was really like my biggest problem with like Goblin Slayer, for instance, which, while not an isekai, has a lot of the same problems. At their point is just like, yeah, this is just incredibly standard, boring shit. Where did it even out? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hey.
like Galvin Slayer was like, like he was completely standard except for like the whole like oh shit they did a rip at the start and then just that was it never went anywhere never did anything particularly saucy the closest they got was your guy pulling out the the scroll for the ogre fight Gavin, Japanese is the ultimate language and kanji is the ultimate script, so it must exist in all worlds. <laughs> it is the same thing with like family shit over here where everyone just speaks English, it's just gonna come on. Remember Lord of the Rings when Tolkien made like whole like languages and alphabets and shit for each individual race, except now he just spoke English. I don't remember a man having a distinct language in Lord of the Rings. Have you ever watched Lord of the Rings, by the way? Nope. That's one to get to. <laughs> Do the challenge, watch all three of them in a row. 12 hours. <laughs> the extended bad. cut shit. There's not even scattered nuts here, how am I still picking them up? Oh, Hammer, welcome back. It's the guy where the MC becomes a mid-level minion on a big bad and must try not to get murdered by either the heroes or the big bad while trying to find a way home. I'm always describe some that are actually close to that. Not exactly that, but close to that. Well, not really mid-level minions usually. He's like either openly or secretly god tier. Yeah, more focus on the going back home angle would be nice in these things. That's what made Final Fantasy Tactics Advance one of the most interesting isekai stories ever. It's a fantasy world where everyone gets what they want, and yet he wants to go home. Just all the quandaries they came up with, and sort of, but didn't really explore, sadly. Explored them to extents, but then didn't you know didn't go all the way. Or just kinda resolve them kinda yeah. I believe he's fleeing. Like limp fleeing. Oh, I might be I don't have to be over here to get the answer to the material. Ugh. Oh. creature.
almost endless web novels. It's almost impossible to come up with a story that hasn't already been done by a web novel, but sadly most web novels are badly written or not well thought of beyond the basic premise. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of all night writing in general, really. Like, you'll find like one in every 100 entries on like, well, probably one in every like 500 entries on fanfiction.net or whatever the current one is. Is actually worth it. Has some zest to it, and the rest is just kind of just how it goes. Rip. It's not as advantageous to me as you might expect. Oh, hey. Yeah, carbon. This is like getting okay. Well, I got wall boost. I think the footprints might be able to knock me over. Would I need to find another monster? Maybe. Shoot. Maybe the materials around the area might. I got signs of a turf one. That's gonna be holding on a bird wire. Is there any like, materials in this zone? I already carved that tail, yeah. So the German publisher of Call of Cthulhu announced an interesting new official campaign that takes place during the Napoleonic Wars. That sounds quite interesting. Breaking away from the usual setting. There's a bone pile there, where's that? Around has the bone pile, where the fuck is it? There. Let's just, just go report this, cause, and then we'll have to like, pick a fight with another, I guess. Probably. Wild Spire region went up a bit. It's curious. You got level 3? All in the forest, yeah. Okay, so maybe we have to weave or something? Will they automatically spawn in, or will they just... No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Unlocks a quest. Ah, okay. Quest where do you know? Nope. <laughs> no, time to run around and see who wants us. David just informed me on Discord there that the next Jackbox Party Pack now has the single best feature of any of them. You can turn off American questions if you're not living in America. I don't even know what that means. The Jackbox Party Pack, like the, all the, like, the trivia quiz ones and all the other question ones are like stupidly heavily centered around American trivia and American history and politics and all that. 
So it means when we're playing, me and my friends are playing a lot of time, we're just like, look at it and go, like, I don't fucking know. Like, I don't know that sports team. I don't know that city. I don't know what the fuck this means. It's just guessing. Well, as long as you don't play often then, because I'd have to imagine you're going to get a lot of repeats if you turn that off, apparently. <laughs> I wouldn't surprise me, but at least they're trying. <laughs> I'll give them a man for at least taking the first step towards making something designed for more than one show. Uh... Every time I see the Link's Awakening remake, I get somewhat upset. It's still not solved, is it? I would never use that shop again if I were you, honestly. There's no one in uh, Stara that seems to want this for this thing. Yeah, no, like, absolutely larger complaint, even if you do eventually get the game, because it's pissed at me now, honestly. It already was. But, like, it's just ridiculous now. Seen so many questions about things I've never even heard of. Yeah. It's really shit when you're playing, like, the trivia murder party ones. I mean, Cause... why are you playing Trivia Murder Party? Because it's fun. That one sucks ass. Not surprised Chris hates things. <laughs> it's fun enough, but... Again, the problem with it is, like, with the questions being tilted towards American history, culture, geography, and all the rest of it, a lot of the time it's just, like... The final stretch will just half and half be just guessing at random. Unless you get repeats that you remember. Or even ones like uh, Jackbox, for instance, will like, like you got prompts that are like still fairly heavily centered around like American shit. So you're just kind of like, I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know who that is or whatever. I'm not saying you need to have like Jackbox prompts re re you know, referencing Edward Carson or anything, but it'd, it'd just be nice. <laughs> Does he have any advice for finding this asshole? Uh, maybe we talk to this dude. Do you have a minute? Yeah, we're in Celiana, or? Uh, yeah. But, yep, the, uh, the, around the round table. I really like how I have to look this up, too. Where, oh, where do I go? Well. Thank God we have the internet. Pardon me. You can register up to 24 room configurations. It's a lot of effort put into that fucking... Oh, you have to walk into Celiana and then he shouts at you to come over to him, alright. He didn't shout at me. <laughs> he shouted at me. He's also got the, the red symbol of importance over his head. Oh, son of a bitch. Can I cancel this? No. Nope. Yan Garuga. What's up? I have to watch a cutscene. Oh, I, ah. I used a voucher. It's like. <laughs> Return of the crazy one. Go out, see her cuts and get a gander and gas his weakness and then 
see what we got. My PS4 gently prepares for a vertical takeoff. What do we got? Why is this the one she questions us picking a fight with? You've seen the shit we fought, Amber. I guess Forest Ranger. Alright, these are the ones get picky at you. It's not the giant bird nest. I would have figured that. It's uh, in the place where we generally fight the Zenogre, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm drawing a blank on that. I'll stumble around and see. Like, who designed this thing? There we go. I thought that this was supposed to be this thing's spotlight. Yeah, that was a big bat dragon. The cat does that with his ears. These things in true cutscenes of fighting a devil joke, of all things. I wonder if they're from the same game originally. Shot a fireball at me. So, <laughs> firebomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that looks about right. Well, what happens when you fight a double Joe?
Really is the crazy one, huh? That's a roar and a half. Well, water seems to do quite good damage, so combine that with you saying he shits a fireball. I think we have our we have our thing. Yeah, okay, like the my fancy attack did like double forty seven on his head. That's pretty indicative of a weakness, I think. See, and it says, my landlady got scammed by one of the people that came to fix my apartment, which is slowly falling apart like the rest of the house. Didn't do any work and told her she had to pay over 400 bureau for him to buy a necessary part. She didn't want to do that, so he told her she need, he needed 50 euro before he could start doing anything. She gave him the 50, I thought he left, left and never came back. You know a lot of that going around recently. <laughs> it's fucking shit. There's a whole case here where, like, some scammer tried doing that on an old lady and the police wouldn't do anything about it until their family brought it to like a radio station here in Belfast and they just blew it up and fucking went to town on the police service for it. And then the police service put their foot in and actually got everything back. Alright. Uh, have you put the quest up, or...? Yeah, I did. I thought you were still fighting it, so I was gonna try to join. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I was just... I was hitting my bit to test the water weapons on them, because I had them out. Yeah. The thing is, the, P the PSNI is usually pretty good about not being that level of cunt, so seeing that from them is like very, very perturbing and also incredibly ironic because they have a whole campaign going on. Because in you know, Northern Ireland and its history, there's like still paramilitary factions and greens in society and all that. You know, and basically they, you know, they act like roving gangs and they do shit like, oh, if you give us money, we'll beat the living shit out of someone who's caused problems for you. And so trying to get people to not just turn to, like, illegal vigilante justice at the hands of violent gangs is a whole campaign. But then you hear stories like this where, like, you know, the police wouldn't get involved with this obvious, explicit crime just because they couldn't be fucked and said, oh, it's not our problem. It's kind of like... Well, there's no wonder that apparently paramilitary violence at the hands of people is on the rise. Because evidently, police services stopped doing its fucking job. The hint tells me you can use the capture net to catch materials off the Zenogre when it's knocked down. He's through here, wasn't he? Uh, he was, yeah, he was up there. Not anymore. Well. I love video games. There's just the Bamboo Prince here, so... Germany's police is not lazy or cartoonishly evil. Germany's police is just incompetent. Well... I feel like that's still like, the best of... these worlds. 
This is a CZ over here. Down, bro. They didn't have it indicated on the map yet. So I couldn't just stick the pin in the corner. Jackbox, what did big boy Johnny say during the sixth episode of everyone's favorite game show win the money? Me, I know some of these words. <laughs> it felt that way at times. That was something like a question about American football and I was like, who the on this earth outside of America would know this? Oh hi. He's over here, he's like at the you know that bit with the like the yeah. net four? He's on the corridor to that. He's not aggro on me yet, so I can hold a sec. He's like down here. Footprint. You ready? Yeah. Oh, venomous thorns. Venomous thorns. Over there. Surprisingly close enough. Oh, that doesn't take long at all. I guess it's not a big creature, but no, still. Let's see if I can get this fucking tail off without killing it. Did you hear about the new game by the creators of Hadical Boyfriend? I had heard they were making a new game. That was about it, though. Sword pelt. Fuck. This guy actually hurts quite a bit. Yep. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, just poison and fire. Why not? Hmm. Have it your way. Where have I seen that before? <laughs> I think that's why we know this must be an early creature in the series history. <laughs> Ow. Was that all they knew how to do? At a point? I mean, probably. They didn't, get, they didn't get wacky for a bit. <laughs> they probably thought, nah, like, shitting lightning might not be entirely believable, or like, left that for like, the super legends or something. Uh, oh, fall asleep. I do actually have bombs this time. Actually, does look quite a bit like a cat to me. Wasn't everything? <laughs> Trying a game similar to Phoenix Wright. It's called Murder by Numbers. Huh. Let's give that a look. Alright, you ready? Yep. That was well timed. Similar to Phoenix Wright, that piques my interest. Still need to get that Phoenix Wright collection at some point. I feel like playing that series again. Yeah, and there's the poison. Yeah. 
I think it's sure coming from my blood. Everyone is poisoned. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the tail, so the sooner we get yeah. that off, that's <laughs> that what I'm aiming for. Yeah, I remember a game called Aviary Attorney. I never played that one. This is probably fun tragic. Yep. Thank you, cat. Clutch Claw, just activate, please, Jesus. Of course, he's gonna run in the middle of that. What the wound actually took. I'm humble. I mean, if you're sure, Hammer, and you're not going to use it, I wouldn't. Mind. I wouldn't say no. I'm lucky, and you're just a ludicrous kindness. We're not used to it here in Northern Ireland. Thank you very much, man. Oh, I'll have to get out of world then. Garuda shard, there's a Garuda shard like here. Uh, Around here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> yes, thank you kindly. Getting that fucking lawyer is scratched all over the place. Where did he go? Are you already at it? Yeah. Fucking okay, hell. Flies just take me on Ryan Germany. Not like the fucking triple shot fireball shit. Oh, Capcom. <laughs> oh, this is some cartoon shit there. Jesus. Just realized I haven't eaten my shrooms. Shoot a fireball there, but it came out with sparks. That is my flesh and bones. That was almost a very nasty combo thing there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 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 
time that well. I'm kind of being mad about that one. Yeah, man. I'm right here, actually. Sick. Is it table? Yeah. Oh, Sick. that's not good. Well, you did the triple shot animation despite not having any fireballs in it. to do with it being low on stamina or something. Yeah. Your fierce is wounded, your soul is mine. I have more bombs. How do I get off? Uh oh there we go. No, that's not off. There we go. Oh, that's not Just off. run out of stamina I guess. One of my numbers takes place during the 90s. Apparently you have to solve pit cross or nonogram puzzles to get evidence, which you can then use while questioning suspects. My fucking eyes. I'm not the very good at pit cross then. <laughs> so, depending on how hard, tricky it is, I might just have to forego <laughs> murder by numbers. Is that in confidence? Girls, it's not a limp fly, at least. Garuda Lash. I keep wanting to say Garuda. I guess you can have it. Launch into other enemies, and that counts. <laughs> Doesn't you have to be one walls. Of these <laughs> no, the ZZ Yaku. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually pretty rad. Making monsters just run into each other. That poor raptor. It doesn't know what's going on. There's some ZZ material on the floor from where you hit it. I wonder if the ZZ flashes kind of like a flash bomb use and like that takes away your master rank uses. Would you just make uh, flash bombs even more tragic? Just me hacking away, you're black. I do like this thing's noise. Very distinctive. I just got entirely the wrong way, I think I have. I'm above it, apparently. I get nine. There we go. Where are you? Hi. Rip. Please fire the light.
Yeah, that was absolutely just like the wrath flip with the tail there. It really does have just like a lot of wrath similarities. Which it really makes me think it must be like a very early series monster. It does even like the ridges on the back and all do look kind of wrathy and like. I mean, that's intent, like, they, they're trying to explain it, like, like, oh, it's an offshoot of Wraths or something. I'd fucking die, bro. Laughs so hard if they had a thing where it could just like go across the entire arena as a headbutt in the ground. It's really cheeky with these hit like fucking dive bombs. At least its sprint doesn't knock me over when I'm standing underneath it. And it pulls it off. It's fucking fast though. Did it try to follow you there? Heartbeat is getting low. Soon. Ow. Oof. Not becoming mystified at me standing in the fucking smoke. <laughs> the dash attack is literally the most annoying piece of shit attack a Rass have. I despise it. <laughs> Someone who's often just standing underneath monsters, anytime where they just run forward and send you flying several feet because they happen to brush the air near you, that just gets on my tooth. And basically, every monster can do that, so. Except, like, the raptors, because they're too small. And the jaguars, because it basically can't dash. But it's fat, anyway. Put the ears down. Well, that doesn't look like a limp at all, so. Yeah, Rass can do some like proper like fighting game shit. Comboing into their like comboing one move into itself and chaining so many moves together. Oh hi. I can put you around past it. so many things I try to just grapple onto and they just end up running at the exact second I'm on their body. I notice his ears are dying now. Is that a limp? Yeah. I didn't see. 
Yep, he's got skulls. Don't fly to you, son of a bitch. I didn't put a trap down just in case he did exactly that. Alright. Got the. <laughs> like, where are they? <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, sick. Normally, launch a documentary about pirates during the 15th and 16th century Europe. Europe had a huge pirate problem, like always, we cause all the problems ourselves. Apparently all the Muslims were driven out of Spain, so they settled in North Africa, but when they tried to trade across the Mediterranean Sea, Europeans sanctioned their goods, so their only choice was to become pirates. Good job, lads. Just fucking... There's Bay Wyvern gem. Gem. Guess this thing doesn't have its own gemstone. Good. How many dude has caused all, have caused all of our own problems, haven't we? New safari locales available. I guess that opens the guiding lens? Maybe. Alright. All right. Oh, yes. My what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really feel like grinding the master rank sixty nine. So maybe th this is it for real. Hmm. I mean, again, you are going to be like playing with other people through this shit. Fair enough, really. Just gonna fuck with some of this shit. Undergore. Do I need actually? I got a lot of Mandragore. Got a lot of everything. Could do with more honey. Better bugs, do mm, I don't want to use flash bugs anymore. Let's see. Alright, there's some ivy. There's some... Let's take it off while stocked. Hard, will you? And citrums. We could always make more actual sparcraster stock. They're in the soft soil, so that's empty sorted. And I can add the other ones later. Whenever later is. Turns out, going against the one thing that made human civilization possible to begin with, empathy, ends up screwing you in the end. Who knew? <laughs> uh, the tale is old as time. Oh, it has earplugs. That's actually quite fitting. Right enough, I should go look at that armor. If you want to look like a fucking fool, you wear this.
Yeah, I really like the red iron shit. Are you like trying to peddle resentment? This looks kind of like the armor of like bad theme stuff. By the way, who here likes horror games? What kind of horror game? Yeah, this is going for like sort of a fancy ass like feudal Japan armor style. The feelers on like the battle armor are a bit tragic. Ooh, here plus three on the gauntlets. I have a key for little nightmares I'm definitely not going to use. I don't appreciate horror games. Every, did you play Little Nightmares or did you like see it or what? Uh, I watched it. It's cool. Do you? Uh, yeah, it's a good game, just like not for the price. <laughs> very, uh, it's very short. Would you like his key or? Eh. It normally doesn't seem like a key. Oh, I haven't seen it, nor have I played it, so... <laughs> I feel like an asshole fills you two free keys. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> the game is really good. I, I, all I know about it is like beyond like the horror theme, it's like, it's, it's like a platformer thing, isn't it? Yeah. I might give that a whirl. I said might. I'll give that a whirl. The cat outfit for the uh, Aruga is really good. Is it? Where is it? Uh, Palico. Yeah, here. <laughs> the mustache. Yeah, it's like a little old. Was it thing? Let me check like there's an ogre set, which is fairly standard. Puppeteer set. It's a not to be ninja set. Look at that. Zora set. Hmm. Spelda set. Fucking hell. And he just floats on his little Buddha petals. Apparently there were many European slaves in North Africa, which I've never heard about before, that captured around a million Europeans and enslaved them, which is still only a tenth of the amount of South Africans enslaved by Europeans. That's probably why I've not heard of it. <laughs> it just doesn't stack up. Good lord. So look. Young Daruga tree, sure enough. Daito oh, yeah. Crow, that's another halberd. Or glaive, whatever. What's the type? Ah, uh, poison. Ugh. Usurper's Bolt Slicer is such a fucking name for the Zenogre Greatsword. The end's not at the top where the, he is on the great sword, the long sword tree. There he is. Also, poison dual blades. Oh, look at those. Oh, that's just a pair of fans. The poison, that's like a pair of just like bladed fans. Oh, look at that. So that scale off of the scales off the Jura tree. That's pretty sick. Glavinous. Smoldering Kingdoms. Like, and I have fully upgraded my Glavinous shit. Interesting. It sucks that the final boss has uh, the element locked in parentheses. Ah, 330 Dragon. That would have been sick otherwise. Those are also pretty good looking. Oh. 
All right then. I guess that's us. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> no loose ends, is it? Because we're only like yeah. master rank twenty, right? I'm like forty-seven. Still a ways away from sixty-nine. If like yeah, every well, level... sorry, 40, 42. Sorry. Every level is two monsters. Then uh, still a lot. And we saw a dumb meme that made me laugh really hard. Birds. Hey, Evolution, can I get wings for a uh, flying? For flying, yes. Actually, gets super big like a boss. Rod height time. It's too deep for me. Oh, the delivery is. <laughs> of course, ruins it. Also, don't feel guilty about the keys. I know, but. It's my inherent nature to feel bad when people give me anything. My mum can't even buy me shit without me going like, but I'm a big boy with a job now. But... <laughs> uh... Alright. Oh. You have to pay her back with your body. Ooh. Nasty. If anything, I feel like I just have to owe him even more then. <laughs> After that experience. Oh well. That's gonna be us for the night. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Uh, what's your plans next? Uh, probably Mario Maker. Fair enough. I will probably be back. Friday with Damon X Machina. Maybe Thursday, actually. Yeah, okay. Probably the actually, no yeah, tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, Damon X Machina. And after that will be Saturday or something, I guess. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. Saturday, Sunday, whatever. My usual grand commitments to com commitment to nothing. Alright. See you. Good night.